Hello, I'm Brian Croft, and I'd like to show you my painting Cloverdale 1913. For many years now, I've been researching and painting the history of Vancouver and British Columbia. This includes painting the major towns in the Fraser Valley, such as Langley Prairie, Abbotsford, and Chilliwack. Cloverdale is one of these valley paintings. In 1910, the BC Electric Railway commenced interurban service from Vancouver through New Westminster and up the Fraser Valley to Chilliwack. The valley was now open for business and Cloverdale was one of the major depots on the line. In 1913, Surrey opened its brand new municipal hall, just footsteps away from the large BC Electric Depot, which residents now saw as the very heart of Surrey. My painting Cloverdale of Cloverdale began with a lot of research. And eventually it would be two archived photographs which gave me the panoramic views of the small settlement of Cloverdale and which provided the rough perspective for the painting. It was also necessary to create a map using satellite imagery. I overlaid that with buildings and roads from around 1910 and then I redrew it several times. This resulted in an accurate map from which I could lay out and cross-check the painting perspective. I chose the year 1913 because that was the year Surrey's new municipal hall opened. I went into Cloverdale and took current photographs of buildings that are still standing today. And finally, I chose to paint it as a night winter scene. With, with all that research and decisions made, I finally began to paint. Cloverdale was a railway town. And here you are, looking north right through Cloverdale. Great Northern's railway lines ran straight up today's 176th Street. And these rail cars are sitting just about where the much-loved Clover Theatre would later be built. How could I not paint a Great Northern train entering town? But it really was the BC Electric Interurban Service that opened up the valley starting in 1910. BC Electric freight cars were a common sight, and this photograph was used to get the details correct. And these Cloverdale-based BC Electric linesmen somehow got their hands on an electric motor and managed to motorize their hand car, and I included them too. In Cloverdale, the main general store, the HV Par store, was located on 176th Street, which was then called Clover Valley Road. And just south of that was Karen Cross and Hugh Realty Office, located just next door to a very large brick building seen here, which still stands today. And here they are both in my painting. The BC Electric Telephone Exchange and the Burroughs and Armstrong General Store and the Hotel Columbia were all clustered near Parr's Corners. Parr's Corners at the corner of today's 176th Street and Highway 10 was also the location of the Parr House which had just been recently remodeled. I used over a hundred archive photographs to finish Cloverdale 1913 and as I completed the work I fully understood that what I was actually painting was a tiny village which in 1913 had suddenly become the new heart of Surrey. You can find more of my work by visiting my website at www.briancroft.com. I'll see you there.